Hello guys and uh, welcome back on uh, Retro Evo Game. Uh, today I just want to show you a just quick video to do how saving your own settings for specific games. Um, first of all, um, if you go to Arcade, um, I run the game and um, you will start to do your inputs, you will start to change everything you want. So you will go to the menu. So you go to the retro menu uh, and inside, um, first things you need to check before saving anything and, and, and changing everything. You go to settings, inside configuration, you will have uh, four options. And the first one say save configuration on exit is off. It, sh it must be off because every time you will exit it will save the config if you do some change and you don't want to to have this change because you make a mistake so don't do this on it's an advice load content specific it's off load overrides files automatically is on and load remap files automatically is on the third one the override files it's very important to be on um, okay, these games have no overlay, these games have like default inputs, so like in the menu, um, if you, um, first things you go is like inside your settings you will change your inputs, so you go to input user bind, just remap as you want your, your key, and then you will go back and you will go to main menu configuration and you will save current configuration this will save your current configuration for all the games on MAM 2003078 so save one time your configuration mine is already done but I can do it again you see downstairs there's a the, the, the yellow line telling it's save at main folder so now you see all the game will be like default have no uh, will have no overlay and stuff like this it's the, all the same settings but let's say uh, now on, on 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 this one i would like to put one overlay and and to change my settings and to have like a specific settings but i don't want this effect to all the rest you can do this, it's very simple. Change the settings you want, change everything you want. Me, I will put overlay, so I will, will, I will put one overlay on this one. So I'm going to settings, I'm going to um, uh, on-screen display. And on-screen display, you have on-screen overlay. Inside, you have overlay presets. And if you don't know how to put overlay, check my other video. It says where you have to put all these files and I give you files also everything and an example. So just check the other video. Go to Arcade Bezel. Me, I put like three different horizontal main. So let's take this one, for example. You see, it's like, okay, super nice. I don't want this one, maybe check another one. Uh, I'd like to have uh, maybe the second one. Let's try the second one. Okay. Uh, opacity overlay. I want the full opacity. So it's on one. So it's like complete opacity like this. Uh, yes. Check. You see? Wow. This game looks cool like this. I have my config like this. Everything looks uh, uh, work great. So you test everything. Go back to the menu. And now, what you will do is go to Quick Menu. You will not save inside here your configuration because it, otherwise it will save this overlay for all the other games and stuff like this. You don't want that. You just want for these games. So you just go to Quick Menu. And inside Quick Menu, down, you have Save Game Overrides. Just do it one time. It says game is successfully uh, uh, saved. So now, if I go back to the menu and I 
quit the game, it has saved this config. Let's check this one. You have no overlay, no other things. We checked it before. So let's check it again. It should have no overlay and the default mapping inside. Yes, perfect. So now launch this one. It should have the overlay and the settings I have done. Right. Yes, it works. So this is how you save your config. And I show you its work because on this one I put the horizontal man number one and it should work. Yes, as you see, so you save specific games but in quick menu and you go to save game overrides. But when you do this, don't do here configuration, save current configuration. Otherwise it will affect to all the rest. So this is how you um, save actually for a specific games, specific settings. Um, yeah, hope it help you guys. Um, ah, if you want to put shaders also, after you put this, you go down here in the quick menu, you see you have shaders. And uh, if I'm go to uh, load the shader, for example, and I have uh, my uh, verti uh, horizontal shader, okay. You see now it's like a bit curving and it's got this line effects. So yes. And now, for example, I didn't, I don't want to change any, I did all this change, but I want my game back at it was. I'm just quit everything because I didn't save anywhere anything. If I go back, it have what I save before. So this is why you don't put automatic uh, save on exit. It's on off uh, in the option, like I show you before. Um, hope uh, this video helped you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for all the subscribers and all the followers. I really enjoy it. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot for me. Um, thank you very much. Sorry for the poor quality of the video. Um, it will come better when I when I'm be back home. And uh, cheers, and see you soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.